<laughs> so that does sound like Kevin Downs. So that's actually me, by the way. I'm singing that song, and then I gave it to Kevin. We were talking about remember. writers and okay. stuff. Why? Joke. Man is a man of God, and you start the interview with a lie. I just said joke, which Stop. is not a lie. So they've been married for 14 years, and their love is still going strong. So what's their secret? Well, I don't know if they're going to tell us, but hmm? uh, Marcia and Kevin are with us now to tell us about their love story. There they are. Good morning well, to you both. They look so pretty Welcome together. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Oh, well, go on. Well, with 14, I looked at my wife a while ago like, Wow. 13. 14. <laughs> yeah, man. She, she deserves a, a medal, man, for, for, for bravery. <laughs> for bravery. <laughs> she deserves a medal to put up with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. Marsha, let me start with you. How did you guys meet? Wow. Good morning, Neville. Good morning, Dalia. Good oh, morning, Jim. Simone. Simone. It's poor me. Is that right? I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Please, right. please forgive me. No, no, no. It's Everyone. okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, how do you guys meet, Marsha? <laughs> But yeah, that's another thing about marriage. You have to learn to laugh at yourself. Of so, course. We do it every day. Meet? <laughs> how did you meet? Well, for one, we um, uh, our churches are very close to each other. Um, mm. He was off Maxfield Avenue. I was off Texton Road. We were in the choirs at our different churches. We would right. you know, go over each uh, other's church and minister. Then we met at UA. So mm. that was just a you know, casual meet. But we met officially really at UA. Uh, that's when... We were part of the university and colleges Christian Fellowship, and being there, part of uh, the, the the movement, uh, my I was vice president one year, and my husband was at the time Kevin was just coming in as the the president freshman, <laughs> and I I got the honor of introduce or, or, or interviewing him and i remember asking him a question he, he reminds me about this all the time i asked him if he was reactive or proactive and um he was like hmm, what i mean <laughs> and he said okay i'm proactive and it was really good and then he came in the following year as president and so, i was asked, so she worship leader she was vice president the year before and then i was interviewed to be president which i did become the year after yes and that's for ucc universities University and colleges and Christian, Christian fellowship. fellowship. So we ministered together. Yeah. We were on JCBC together while he was while he was singing. I was one of his background vocalists. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so she was my first background vocalist. <laughs> to all the singers over. Oh she yes. My... So you said that is a that is a fertile ground for um for love to be born and to be <laughs> yourself nowhere. So so Kevin, what was it about um Marsha that made you say this is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. You know, there's a few things that were evident. Um, she wasn't in a rush. Um, hmm. At that time, you know, so, sorry for saying this on camera, but for that that time, <laughs> uh, people were, you know, people would, you know, say, you know, girls, for example, would say, um, like, would say they got prior that I'll be the husband of whatever their husband had. She, she, yeah, yeah, seriously. We would get, we would, I would get text messages or calls that person would say, their father uh, prayed and, you know, I'm supposed to be this. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it. it was crazy because I wasn't interested in, in a relationship at that time. But she was very patient and she was not interested either in, in, um, in a relationship then she was just being supportive she was just being a friend and i think that that's one of the things that drew me about her she, she wasn't she wasn't after mm -hmm. she was relaxed and she, mm -hmm. she she knew who she was and she was confident about that yeah 14 years from the quarry <laughs> every day <laughs> <laughs> Almost every day, not every so, day. <laughs> no, but I'm being serious, man. We don't, don't quarrel every day, but we don't quarrel about if we don't quarrel. We don't quarrel about. I mean, I'm, <laughs> everything. I mean, I mean, it, it, my okay. wife, my wife, my wife is, my wife is, I think she has the most incredible, I don't, I, I think she's the first woman I met who forgives so easily mm. and forgives quickly. Mm. So I'd be, so, you know, I'd be like upset about something and I go to her and she's like, she got over it long time. And I'm like, sweetie, you couldn't be upset for another five minutes? Mm. I mean, just be upset with me for another five minutes? No, no, no. She's over it long time. Um, that, that's just incredible about her. So she has helped in that area to just ensure that, you know, um, tension 
is never maintained in the house. In relationship. How, and, and speaking of, like you guys work together too. So how do you maintain peace in the middle of what is often a stormy time with work? Well, one of the things that I realize is important for anybody is never you lose your individuality mm -hmm. and never feel as though you can't express yourself. Yeah. Once that begins to happen where you feel as though you can't express yourself, it's going to be a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes that tension comes out, you know, with a bit of, you know, animation, but it's important for, for there yeah. to be some sort of an understanding. Yeah. Because I've always said to my husband this analogy, the door and the key. When two persons come together initially, there are some things about one and some things about the other that are incompatible. And just as though you're, you're, you're kind of creating the key to hold into the, the door, that's the process. That's the sieving down process through the years. Those are the tensions that you have to get over. And so as, as the years go by, the, the key is being fit perfectly to the lock. So that's it. Quarreling is a part of it working together there are going to be disagreements because we're two individuals we're different persons he has a different personality he's more creative and you know all of that i'm more structured you know you gotta get things in a certain order mm -hmm. the yin and yang <laughs> so... relationship i look at kevin looking at you and i think boy look at it the look of love is in his eyes um when you look at her sir as valentine's day approaches what song comes into your mind i'm curious wow you know, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I'm a writer. Yeah. I'm, I'm a writer. And um, there's a song that I wrote a few years back uh, that, you know, maybe would fit her. Uh, God sent an angel. Hmm. Um, in Earth, the disguise. Hmm. God sent a lady to be my wife. God sent a lover to soothe my soul. Thank you, Lord, for blessing my life. Hey. Oh, we, we can't, we can't, we can't end, we can't end right there. Um, it's, it's, it sounds like, Kevin, sounds like you've been listening to my lyrics with, with my lady. With my lady yeah. No, serious, because it's so we stay. No, it's so we stay. I look at her and I just have some lyrics. God yeah, send man. you to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, we see it. Hey. Yeah, me think. No. <laughs> Shut <Yeah>. her. <laughs> Good to see you both. Um, God continue to bless the union and just uh, stay as, as sweet as you guys are. Kevin, you have an amazing voice and your wife obviously mm -hmm. helping mm -hmm. with your... We want to hear Marsha sing one day, please yeah. and thank you. Uh, obviously, Marsha helps. <laughs> but we have news. We have news. So um, we, we talk again. All right. Take care. God bless okay. it to you. Take yeah, man. Take care. All right. Uh, Marsha and uh, Kevin Downswell, just like uh, Summer Rooney and uh, Neville. Eh, no? Yeah, man. News in five. Coming Big up. tune. Right now. I'm just going to finish off. Look, remember, like what? You're the real.